Schools are back in session. That's right. And this morning, CBS News Philadelphia reporter Wakisha Bailey is visiting a school familiar, a familiar school with some new additions this school year. Joining us live from Father Judge High School in Northeast Philly. Hey, Wakisha, good morning to you. Good morning, Janelle Jan. So, yeah, that was right. We are back to school here at Father Judge High School. And last year, I got to hang out with some really amazing students who decided to take a non traditional route after high school. Well, now they are paving the way for others to follow. We're trying to give kids the opportunity to specialize in the things that they enjoy. We are back outside at Father Judge High School. It used to house the priest that ran the school. Obviously, it was taken down, and it's going to be our new CTE Academy. The 20,000 square feet of space will host brand new automotive, HVAC, and welding, and a few other programs. Last year, we met the first group of young welders to graduate from the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. Everybody's leaving here with a career that is well deserved. You know, making upwards of seventy thousand dollars a year, and that's exactly what happened. I'm going to L3 Harris, and they do uh, military contract welding. Uh, I'm going to DC Fabrications. Uh, it's a government company that helps with the U.S. Navy. We finally headed inside, where the start of the day always kicks off with the morning announcements, brought to you live through the Crusaders News Network. Good morning, Father Judge. This year, the station's announcers will have a brand new space complete with the green screen and equipment. This is something that we're looking to convert into a class. So this is something where we're trying to give, like a media like class. a media class, giving them the ability to come in and take this as a course where they learn photography, videography, editing, all that kind of stuff. Down the hall is also a brand new space designated for 3D printing, but it's no surprise we spent the majority of our tour playing video games. Oh boy, is that you? Are you winning or am I winning? Right now you're beating. Oh, I'm on the grass. You're not winning. What happened to the parachute? Welcome to the E Lab, where the principal is introducing a new sport to students gaming. Colleges offer D1, D2 schools offer full ride scholarships for students that excel at not only playing video games. But running the technology, streaming the games live, and all that. These students must have a low absentee and tardiness rate to participate. But it's worth it if this is your homework. Oh, geez. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Well, Jan, Janelle, you guys can see I'm not that great at gaming, but they have so many great things going on. You know, we are going to go inside the school later on and talk to the principal as well as the president of the school to find out what else they can possibly have in store for their students this year. Now, you know, if we had these kind of programs back in school, I think I may have tried um, HVAC or automotive. What about oh, you guys? Okay. We were just talking about how these kids have so much more than we did when we were going yeah. Yeah. I had like wood shop. Yes. That was bad. <laughs> wood shop in I our had class. A table and oh, chairs, is yeah. what I would say. Yes. <laughs> we had All a right. <laughs> Wakisha, looking forward to your reports later this morning. We'll see you then. Thanks, Wakisha.